Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams here. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly how to set up your plastic account. So that way you can use your credit card to make your loan payments or even do chunk payments. If you're using your credit card to do the velocity banking strategy. So the first thing is to get onto the plastic website. Now you can go straight there if you want to, if you want to help me and help support the channel, there is a link below this video that you can click. That'll take you right over to the plastic website. So I'm going to, so I'm going to go ahead and click that link right here to set up your free plastic account. And so this is going to bring you to the sign up page. And so the first thing you need to do on this site is to go ahead and enter the email address that you're going to use to log in. All right, so I'm going to type in an email address. I'm going to get the keyboard here. So, okay. And so once you enter in your email address, it's going to uh, prompt you right here, um, letting you know that it's sending you a verification uh, code. So essentially it's going to send you an email, the button to click to confirm your email. So let's go ahead and do that. And since I used a Gmail, it's giving me a green button here so that I can go straight to Gmail. So let's go ahead and do that. And load up my account bang bang and here we go okay so here we are in my email and we can see right here we got an email from plastic that we're going to go ahead and open this create your account clicking below will confirm your email address and finish creating your plastic account let's click create your account and it's going to bring us back to the plastic website to go ahead and fill out the rest of the information to set up our account so here it's just asking for name, phone number, password, you know, all the common stuff here. So let's go ahead and get that typed in. Okay. And it's asking here, this is a little survey that they do. So it's asking, who are you making payments for? I'm just going to put myself, how much are your total monthly expenses? Uh, in our scenario right now, we're less than 10 K on our monthly expenses. Nice and lean and mean right there. And so uh, we're going to create account and log in. And so just like that, we've set up our plastic account. Now there's a couple more things to do in here to where you're going to be uh, kind of ready to go as far as making your first payments. I'll walk you through that part of it. So the first thing here, okay. And this is just letting us know that there's some security. So I'm going to close this here and kind of cool, you know, something that they're doing that's new. And this is really for those of you that are international checking out these videos. Um, so many folks um, from different countries have said, Hey, I can't make loan payments with a credit card. Well, using this plastic service, you just might be able to. And it looks like now uh, you can actually make payments to vendors in the UK, China, Singapore, India, and there's plenty others. So I'm sure there's a pretty big list. We'll, we'll check that out as we go, but that's pretty cool. That's a new feature. You know, um, when I originally got started with plastic, it was just available in the United States and Canada. So it uh, looks like they have taken on quite a bit more countries out with this service, which is really, really cool and really convenient. So the first thing to do is to add a credit card. And th this is going to be the credit card that you're going to use um, in order to make these payments. And so to add your first card, there's a little uh, link right here, add your first card. So we'll give that a click. And this would be where you put in your credit card information. Now I already have an account um, uh, with all my cards already preloaded into it. So the name that's on the card, the card number, the expiration, the uh, security code on the back, and then as well, the billing address that's attached to that card. And then once you have that all in there, you would just click save card and then you'd be good to go. That's literally all it takes to add your card um, here on plastic. And so once you have a card loaded, the next step is to go ahead and add a recipient. Now the recipient is the basically the entity or the company that you're wanting to send the money to, because as we know, with this plastic service, you know, they're going to swipe your card, like a normal transaction on the card, just like you're swiping it. And then they are going to turn around and either a send an, uh, send an electronic check to that business or B they're going to go ahead and mail a physical check uh, to that loan company or to that recipient. So this green button right here, add a recipient, go ahead and give that a click. And this is where it's going to start asking you, who is it that you want to pay? So you can type in the company name here. So let's say, you know, let's say you're, you're looking to pay your mortgage here and your mortgage is through Wells Fargo. Okay. So I'll just type in Wells Fargo. And then it's going to ask you here, which country do you need your payment to go? 
and now because you they they're going to want to send that payment in the right currency okay and so here in the united states us dollars in canada it's got the cad but check this out guys you know now there's a huge list and it looks like there'll be some additional verification required but look at all of these different countries now um, where you can make payments using your credit card to make your loan payments or to make chunk payments um, using your credit card. There's a ton of countries available now. So this is something that's totally new um, from uh, the last year when I, when, I, you know, when I made the original video. But in my case, we'll put the United States here and we click continue. And from there, you know, Wells Fargo is a pretty big bank, you know, uh, so they already have addresses already in here uh, to where that payment might go. So you may just be able to click one of these potential matches and it's going to go to the right place. But for me personally, you know, um, I want to make sure and be very, very certain that it's going to the right place. So click down here where it says none of the above. I'll add the recipient myself. Click continue. From here, it's going to give you the option, you know, how would you like these payments to go to that provider? And so again, you can have them send a physical check. Okay. Um, otherwise you can use an ACH. So if you have your recipient's routing number or account number, you can send it like an electronic check and you can also do a wire. Okay. If you have the wire routing number. Uh, in most scenarios, we're not going to have that again, depending on who it is you're paying. So let's go with the paper check here and then click continue. Now on this page, this is asking you, where do you actually send your check? Now for me, you know, I make most of my payments right online, just using bill pay and, you know, just log into our mortgage account and we make the payment. It's just all electronic. Um, but you know, take a look at your statement. So if you still get a physical statement in the mail where you actually physically mail a check, um, or if you pay it online, you can look at your online statements side of your online account to see the actual address. Like as if you were going to send a check, what is the address you would actually send it to? So make sure that's the address that goes in here. And I'll just put in a kind of a test address. So let's go one, one, one test street. Okay, um, what city that's in test and that's in test, Minnesota, right? And then the zip code 55121. And then click continue. And again, that's not an accurate address. So it's giving me a little warning here saying, hey, you know, this is uh, the system believes that this is not a correct address because it isn't. But again, you're just going to want to make sure that you copy the address directly from your statement. Okay. So I'm just going to proceed. So on this next page, it's going to ask you what services does this um, recipient provide? And the reason they're asking that is because again, plastic is going to use their own verification process to ensure that, you know, this check goes to the right place. So they want to be able to line it up. So obviously with Wells Fargo, you know, that's a bank. They take payments for all kinds of different things in this situation. We're kind of, you know, just as an example, we're talking about a mortgage here. So what type of service I would put, you know, there, and there's a drop down menu here. So I would just go ahead and put mortgage or HELOC. And then from there, you'd want to put the recipient's phone number. Again, take a look at either your statement or log into your online account, click the contact us and get the company's direct phone number. And, and you'd put that in right here and also the recipient's email address. So I'm just going to put in a number. Okay. And then email address. Okay. And from here, you're just going to want to go ahead and review all of the information that you put in. So again, if you're looking at your mortgage statement, again, just make sure that everything lines up and everything matches exactly as it should, as if you were mailing a physical check yourself. And once you've verified that you can save the recipient. And so now at this point, we've taken care of the two big things. Uh, number one is we've added a card uh, to our account here that you can use to send these payments. And then the second thing is you've added a recipient, uh, which again is the entity that's going to be receiving the payment. 
So now when you're ready to actually make the payment, uh, pretty simple and, and it loaded me up right here just that way I'm, I'm good to go uh, and I can just click right here to make that payment. Otherwise you would just click up here where it says start a payment. Uh, one thing to note um, right here, payments sent via check will be delivered in two to eight business days. And the reason why there's a range there, now some recipients, um, they have them on file, so they will accept an electronic check, which will get there in just a couple of business days. But again, if they have to mail a physical check, it could take up to eight business days. So keep that in mind, you know, if you're making your mortgage payment and your mortgage payment is due on the first, you'd want to get onto plastic here and initiate this well before you know, roughly the 21st, 22nd of the month to make sure it gets there by the first of the following month. So keep that in mind, it takes up to eight business days for that physical check to actually get there. Um, but from there, you would just click start a payment. Uh, our recipient's already in here, so Wells Fargo, I'd select them, click continue. And now this is where it's gonna get into a little bit of the nitty gritty. Uh, cause as of now, it hasn't asked you for, or hasn't asked me for my account number or anything like that. So this is where you're gonna kind of start filling in some of that information. So first things first is how much do you want to send? So whatever your uh, payment is or whatever the chunk is that you're wanting to send, go ahead and you know, put that number in there. Uh, down here, right here, it's gonna ask you for when do you want this payment to arrive? And again, bear in mind, it's gonna take up to eight business days if we're talking about a physical check. So today is September 25th. So the earliest I can even select on here is the 6th of October. So I'm gonna pick the earliest possible date here. And then it also gives you an option here. You would have to give it a little bit of extra time, but you do have the ability to do a recurring payment. So if this is a regular payment that you wanna make every single month, you can set that up here to where it'll just ding your card on a certain date of the month to make sure it gets there by a certain date, your due date. So you can set this up as a recurring, but we're not gonna deal with that right now, and I'm just gonna click continue. And then here is where it's gonna ask you for the pertinent information. So again, you want to make sure this gets credited to the right account. So you're going to want to put in the account holder name. In this situation, I'll put my name. And then you're also going to want to make sure to put your proper account number in here. Get it right off your paper statement or off your online statement and make sure you put this in there accurately. So I'll just put in this number right here. And then if you want to put a memo in here, you can certainly put a memo in here. Like this is a mortgage payment. Okay, click continue. And so now, and again, you know, since this is a test account, we didn't actually add a credit card, but this would bring us right to the final page here where you could go ahead, you can see the green button right here where it says submit payment. So if we had a credit card in place on this test account here, um, everything is completely good to go. And I would literally just have to click the submit button and from there, all the magic of plastic would happen and they would uh, immediately charge the card for the amount that you specified. They would also charge you the 2.85% fee. So again, if you were making, let's say a $1,000 mortgage payment, um, they would totally charge your card the 1,000 plus a $28.50 fee uh, for the service fee of using their particular, their service. So that would be charged immediately. And then from there, they would turn around and mail a physical check to your loan provider. So that's it guys. That's all it takes to set up uh, your account. And then from there, add a credit card to your account. And from there, add your recipient. And then from there, initiate and submit your payment. That's really all it takes. And so again, if you guys are interested and wanna give this service a try, there is a link below this video. Just give it a click and you can set up your account and then you can uh, just follow along with this video here to set up your account and get everything good to go so you can make your very first payment using plastic. So hopefully you guys found value in this training and this discussion. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and give it a comment below. And as well, if you have any additional questions about this plastic service, I am all ears for that. Make sure to put those questions in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those as quickly as possible. And I will see you in the next video.